Hey guys, Vince here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a radar chart with Chart.js. But before we do that, I want you to comment down below. Let me know why you are looking at finding out how to do a radar chart. Uh, let's begin. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do the HTML. We'll just start with uh, bringing in our normal HTML doc type followed by the, the Bootstrap CDN. Now, Bootstrap isn't, of course, required for Chart.js, but we're going to be using it for just some default styling here. And then we'll go ahead and bring in the actual Chart.js CDN. Uh, we'll be using version 3.9.1 for this tutorial. And we're gonna be keeping our JavaScript in its own file, just keep things clean. And then we'll do a bootstrap row with a div inside of it that spans 10 columns, and then a card with a card body. Everything so far is just bootstrap. Um, and then the part that's actually relevant to Chart.js will be the canvas element uh, with an ID of my chart. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do here for our JavaScript is go ahead and create our datas. Now, radar charts basically expect for the, if we take a look at the, the docs here and the setup, the data is looking for an array and then the labels will be an array of strings here. So we've got our, our radar data here as an array of integers and then we'll go and create our labels. Again, that's just gonna be an array of strings And then we'll go ahead and instantiate our actual chart. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and do a new chart object, passing in that, that ID. This is known as the context or CTX with chart.js. Uh, and it's just gonna be equal to whatever we set that canvas ID to. And then we're going to go ahead and set the type of chart to radar. And then we're going to create a data object and inside that data object, it's gonna hold our labels. Uh, so referring to our radar labels up above. And then we're going to create an array for our data sets. Now that, that data set, uh, basically each, each data set in the data sets array will be an object. And inside that object, we're going to give it a label. In this scenario, basically we're going to create a radar chart to look at the, the, the comparison or how the demand and pay uh, compare to each other or correlate to each other for these different programming languages. So we're gonna go ahead and do our data and set it to our radar data above. We're gonna set fill to true, uh, which is basically going to what we see here, actually give a, a, a fill here instead of it just being an, an empty, uh, whatever that shape is. And we'll go ahead and give it a background color, which is an RGBA string. And then we'll set a border color for the actual line color. So background color is the fill, border color is the line. And then point background color, this is just some styling for the, the actual points themselves here. And then let's go ahead and save. And yeah, we've got a radar chart here uh, showing that first data set. So let's go ahead and uh, customize this data set just a little bit before we add our second one here. Let's go ahead and go down to the data set properties and we'll see that we can set border width, uh, border dash. Uh, so let's go ahead and just give it a border dash, which is looking for an array, uh, basically, let's get down here to it, the length and the spacing of the dashes here. So if we give it a border dash of three with the uh, for the length and five for the spacing, we've got a nice actual uh, dotted, dotted line here for our data set. And let's go ahead and just add a second data set here to our chart here. So we're gonna do radar data two, and then we'll create an object here. And inside that object, we'll go ahead and give it a label. So for this data set, we're gonna do demand because because we, we wanna look at how the pay compares to the demand. We're gonna set the data to our radar, radar two array that we created a moment ago. We'll set the fill to true again. Again, that's just make sure that it has color inside of it. We'll go and set that color. And then we'll set the border color, which is the color of the actual line around it. And then the point styles here, we'll save. And then we've got our second data set here. So looking at this chart, we can kind of see um, if we want to get a high paying uh, job of this all fictionist, uh, fictional. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it looks like the highest paying jobs is either going to be one that has to do with Python or one that has to do with Java. Uh, however, Java programming jobs are not high in demand according to this chart. So if we're looking for the right, uh, the right language to learn, to make a bunch of money, uh, it looks like according to this chart, that it would probably be Python because it's in high demand and has a high salary. 
And let's set the uh, let's set the tension. And again, this is all found here in the line styling on the docks. Is we can set the tension, which is just the the curvature of the line itself. And we're setting to zero point two. When we save that here, we get a nice uh, just kind of makes it a little bit more rounded here. And then the next thing I want to show you guys is actually how to go into the options and and change. Let's say we want to make the the lines themselves a lot thicker, but we don't wanna do that on each individual data set. So to do that, we can go and hop into, let's go ahead and take a look at our chart. The docs here say that we, for the data set properties, since we're wanting to change the line, uh, we can go and hop into options, elements, line. So to go into that namespace, we're going to add options, elements, line, and then we're gonna set that border width which is right here, which is a number. We're going to set it to 20 here. And then, yeah, we end up with a quite a uh, interesting looking chart here. As always, I hope you have found that helpful. If you did, please comment down below, let me know. And then also I have a link down in the description that will bring you to a playlist of all these Chart.js tutorials. Um, if you find that interesting, give it a click. Talk to you guys later. Bye.